To create your Padlet timeline, you'll have to create your own account first. So let's sign up for free. Since we already have a Microsoft account through the district, we'll select that option. Use your district credentials when prompted to log in through Microsoft. Once you've created your account, select Make a Padlet. And for this particular project, we are going to select Timeline. Padlet is then going to ask for some more information about your project. So let's change our title, description, and appearance. So for our title, we can change this to Ms. Braces Atomic Timeline. And our description can be your class period. So we'll just put second period. Okay, and we can leave the icon alone. This is completely optional. If you choose, you can have a smiley face. That'll show up right there, um, but I'm going to select no icon. Okay, this is where you'll decide what your timeline will look like. Okay, the background, your timeline text box theme, as well as your font. So we can change our wallpaper to be a picture, um, and we'll keep it simple. Let's do Canyon. Okay. And then when we put our text box in here, I want a dark theme. And then my font, I just want it to be this one right here. Okay. So from here, we'll leave all the other options alone. And then we're going to click Next. And we can finally add content to our timeline at this point by clicking the plus button at the bottom of the page. So here's where you can type the name of your scientist right here. So scientist person number one and then below that is where you can describe what his contributions were. Uh oh. His contributions. Okay, above the text is where we'll add our image of his contribution. So you have a few quick access buttons here, and if you click the ellipses, you'll see all of the available options. And you're, you'll notice that you're not limited to images, but you can also put GIFs or even videos in your timeline by using the Google search. Okay, so scientist number one, we'll do scientist instead. Okay, so you can click any image, and if this isn't the image that you want, you can always click the X button and then select a different image or video or even GIFs. So scientist. Pick Bill Nye. Okay, and there you have it. So you created your first event. If you need to edit or change anything, again, just click the text or the image if you want to change anything. Okay, you can continue to add by clicking your plus button down here or over here. And when you're finally finished and ready to submit your assignment on Canvas, you are going to click the Share button. Okay, and we want you to select the Embed option. So you're going to click Embed in your blog or website. And you are going to copy this embed link. Okay, so it's been copied to my clipboard. And when you go to Canvas, when you click the submit button, it's going to bring you to your text box. And what you're going to click is the embed button right here. So you're going to switch to raw HTML editor and you are just going to paste that embed code in the text box. If you click the embed button again, 
it should show you your timeline inside of that text box and then you are just going to hit submit and there you go. If you have any questions, please let us know.